Hello and welcome to Infinity. I was asked recently whether I could do something the same as erase white paper non-destructively. So I thought, well, let's have a go. So erase white paper, typically this sort of thing you get. This is a big smudge down the middle from the scanner. I'm not going to worry about that for the moment. So let's just duplicate the layer and turn off the bottom one. So we've got the top one here. And then erase white paper is filters, colours, and down here there it is, erase white paper. There are no controls in it, so it does it straight away. What you can see here is it's gone straight through here, so the checkerboard is, is out the bottom. So you can see it's done that pretty well. It's done a good job here of moving this and just holding, keeping the, the blacks and taking out the white, which in this case is the paper. It doesn't get rid of this. This is actually something of a problem because this is also in grey and the colours are the same and also you've got the this blurring along here you're not going to be able to do anything about. But that's maybe a problem for another day. But there we go. So let's have a look at what we can do about that the other way. So I'm going to just just delete that layer. Control J to duplicate that one again. So we got back to this one. And let's just see if we can do something with procedural texture. But first of all, we'll look at how we're going to do it. So I'm just going to draw a picture here. Take the color tool, bring it over here so we can see what we've got. So here we've got white in here, which is all the colors, red, green, and blue up to the top. I can bring them down here and you mix the colours up and so on. So the question is, how can we determine how white this is? So if I move this up, and the more you move it up, the lighter it gets and so on. When they're all the same value, or pretty close to it, then it gets pretty grey. But if you, you can move two of them right to the very top, another one's further down, and that's nowhere near white. And it's because it's the bottom one which makes the difference. So if I turn this up, this will gradually get to white. Then if I turn another one down, then again it's the lowest one which is making the difference. So in other words, to detect the whiteness you take the minimum, but then this amount here is the value of the minimum. But for whiteness we want the other side there. So in other words, we want 1 minus the minimum. Or we'll do that in procedural texture. So, so let's go and add a procedural texture to this. Here we go. We'll add in a control here. At the moment it's on red. Let's take that off and put it on A for alpha, which is transparency. And then we just say 1 minus minimum of R, G, B. And turn the bottom layer off. And there you go, we've kind of done it. But what it's got here is it, it's actually it not as sharp as the other one is. So what we can do with it is maybe we can bring it back by saying don't apply this so much to the darks. We only need to apply to the whites. So I'm going to go to the procedural texture layer here, go up to the blend ranges and this goes from dark to light, we're using the right hand graph. So if I pull down the dark, say don't apply it to the darks. There we go, and we can even bring it across a bit. We can see here we've still got the, the punch through, but we're bringing back this. And we can also then play with things here, make, make it curves. And maybe adjust this further up, and so on. So you can play with that. You can, so in other words, we have done an erase white paper programmatically, but also it means we can control it now with that blend options or blend ranges. Another use for this is where you've got a pretty white sky, you can get rid of that sky using blend white, erase white paper. So I go to filters color and erase white paper here. And you can see here though, it's, it's got rid of the sky pretty well. There's also there are other areas like you can see in here, it's creeping through there, but there's nothing much we can do about it other than play kind of masking games. 
So let's undo that and actually duplicate the layer and turn off the bottom one and do that with the procedural texture. So I literally go to procedural texture here plus to add in a layer here, take out the red and say just apply to the alpha the transparency and one minus minimum of r comma g comma b. And there we go. Same effect, we've patched this through. And actually here you can see a lot of this is a lot more transparent. But again, we can just go to the cogwheel here for blend ranges. And for this, we can pull down the right here and then pull it across more if we like. Uncheck the linear so we can play games with graphs. Yeah, and we're still preserving the, the white's been taken out there. And even if we go into here now, that's a lot more solid than we actually got with the erased white paper. So in other words, there we go. Here is a way of doing more controllable erased white paper. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.